In this lesson, we're going to briefly cover where you can locate the curve chaining commands in FeatureCam. Now there are three ways to locate curve chaining commands. The first is to use the Construct menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen. When you click on Construct, you're going to roll down to Curve and the Fly Out menu will continue to the right and you're going to select Chaining and when you Hover over chaining, you'll see that there are three options. There is a closed curve option, pick the pieces option, and then unpick pieces. And for the purposes of our demonstration today, we're going to be covering the chaining operations for closed and open curves. So again, the construct menu, roll down to curve, fly out on the right, select chaining, and then select from either closed curve uh, or pick the pieces for a uh, for an open curve or unpick pieces. Now you can also select the curve chaining commands from the steps menu on the left hand side of the screen here. And what you'll do is simply select the curves icon and when you do that there's a window that opens and the window asks you, it says which method do you want to use? You can chain pieces of geometry into a closed boundary using a single mouse click and this is a closed curve and this would be good for a closed shape like a triangular pocket like we did for our pocket block lab a hole or similar feature uh, the next command is to chain pieces of a geometry into an open boundary using a mouse click at each end and this is useful for chaining a curve that will become the edge of a feature such as a slot or a groove and one of the things that's important to note, when you do chain curves, the direction of chaining is important. So the first place that you select on your uh, line or feature will be the starting point for your curve, and where you finish will be the end point. So again, if you, for example, if you have a hole and you chain that hole, um, you can define whether or not the curve progresses counterclockwise or clockwise. And we'll get into a little bit more of that as we get further into the uh, into the lesson. Now you also see icons for create curves using the curve wizard and uh, when we get into curve creation we'll discuss that. And next is chain progression uh, projections of vertical surfaces into curves using mouse clicks. And in the online modules we won't discuss chaining projections of surfaces that will be covered in class. And finally, the last place that you can access the curve chaining commands is on the geometry toolbar. And, and from our prior module, we'll know the geometry toolbar resides in the upper portion of the screen. And you'll see that on the right hand side of the geometry toolbar is our curve chaining icon. And when we click on the drop down, you'll see the familiar icons for the closed curve, for picking the pieces for an open curve, or to unpick the pieces that, uh, that we've selected. So, uh, again, there are three methods for accessing uh, curve chaining commands in FeatureCam. The first is through the Construct menu at the upper portion of the screen, down to Curve, select Chaining, and you have Close Curve, Pick Pieces, or Unpick. We have the Curves icon in the Steps menu. And again, now a window opens up and gives us the same options to pick the pieces for a closed curve or an open curve. And finally, we have the curve chaining icon in the geometry toolbar that gives us the same options as the steps menu options, closed pick pieces or unpick pieces.